Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Las Vegas Social Media Show. We're about to go Hollywood on you. We have a very, very special guest and personal friend of mine, Ross Martin, on the show. Ross, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sam. Awesome, awesome. So real quick, we have a variety of topics we could talk about today. Give us a quick briefing about your history as a filmmaker. Yeah, well, with film school, I you know, I was getting my feet wet. I was making some short films. Uh, I actually went to film school when it was still, you know, hands-on. Uh, you got the, a guillotine in front of you with actual, actual film, negative yeah. film and uh, 16 millimeter and uh, with the white gloves and the grease pencil and going wow. at it. You know, I, I, I'm old school, basically. Uh, old school film school. So I've, uh, you know, I, I learned a lot of the theory behind editing and filmmaking and uh you know and the best thing about uh uh filmmaking is uh you don't necessarily have to go to film school i mean i've been around other people that just literally just learned just by being on film sets you know mm -hmm. i mean i actually that's what i did before i went to film school oh okay uh so um and then when film school was winding down uh me and my buddy sean kinney uh, had an idea we were uh, trying to uh, put together uh, as a script called Rubbernecking. And uh, it actually happened where we were stuck on a 10 freeway uh, out near Fontana picking up props for my last short film that I was going to do at school. Mm -hmm. And we just got stuck in this like three, four hour traffic jam. <laughs> and uh, Sean happens to be an actor and a comedian, and he's very good at observing things, you know, whatever your situation is, and looking at things differently. And we just started, you know, kind of riffing, and uh, before you know it, we had that idea, and um, then it was, uh, you know, a certain period of time writing and rewriting, and uh, then we were looking for money, you know, talking to investors, and uh, th there's so many different parts of the process right. of making a film, but we actually did go out and eventually shoot uh rubbernecking and uh not all at once uh we actually had an investor that pulled out for whatever various reasons and uh it was at the time when hd was first coming out so first part of our film is shot with 35 millimeter oh wow uh and we thought like the best way we could complete it because uh because the story actually uh warranted uh it was very much a robert altman-esque type of film where there's different groups of characters stuck in a traffic jam. So uh, we we actually, what we shot on 35 were complete storylines. Uh, so the new storylines we could finish on high definition. And that's what we ended up doing it. We got it in the can, which at that point we were just thankful to do that, just right. to have it in the can. And then it was, you know, a couple of years of uh, uh, rough cut after rough cut after rough cut, having a couple of screenings and then trying to enter film festivals and... Uh, trying to get distribution because without distribution, it kind of just, uh, you know, uh, what you hope for if you don't get actual distribution is to be able to use it as a calling card, um, which unfortunately we haven't been able to use it for either. Right. Um, it now kind of is collecting dust in a storage facility somewhere in L.A. Well, and I think that's <laughs> one thing you helped open my world to is I'm starting wanting to learn more about film. It's just not – you go out, shoot a movie, you're done. There's a whole other side right. the process to get it out there, all the film festivals, which speaking of film festivals, you, well, you've been involved in several, but tell us about the one, your most recent project, the Social Media Film Festival, for those that don't know. Uh, I love movies. You know, if I'm, it's, it's hard to, you know, the reason why we're not making films every day it's because there's a real cost involved right. there. You know, if I, if I could just be making movies every day, that's what I would do. But I, I wanted to, because it's been a long time, last 10 years, I was just kind of just trying to make a living as a video editor. And uh, I even put off screenwriting for a bit. And that's something I'm trying to get back into. But uh, I love film. I love independent film. I, I love what's going on out there. I love to attend film festivals. Uh, I was a part of a film festival like uh, 10 years ago, Screen Fest. Screen Fest, yeah. And uh, I just love being around filmmakers uh, and what's going on now. You know, what are filmmakers doing now? 
Uh, and just recently, in the last couple of years, it's been interesting with how you know technology is uh, changing things so drastically and overnight, and it's hard to keep up with things. Um, that uh, you know, it just seems uh, kind of uh, fitting because there are so many things going on out there regarding social media. People are celebrating social media, social media day, week. Uh, in other parts of the world, you know, New York and L.A. Exactly. And, you know, overseas Europe. And uh, I just uh, thought one day uh, grabbing, it's kind of like Sesame Street, you know, <laughs> grabbing, uh, you know, two words, social media, and then film festival, and then slapping it together. And um, <laughs> what is that? You know, I didn't know exactly at the time. And uh, I typed it in to uh, see if the domain was available, and it was, and... I've been you on this were, then journey. you were committed. You were committed yeah, I, as soon as you bought the it was, domain. To me, it was just, uh, even if I didn't know at the time exactly what it was, just the, the title was perfect. Uh, it was just a great domain name, socialmediafilmfestival.com. And so I just started um, seeing what I could, you know, find out. You know, I also at the same time uh, incorporated my production company, which I've been wanting to do with the same name for many years, In Your Head Productions. In Your Head Productions, LLC. right. LLC, so... Yep. And then so I put the Social Media Film Festival as a DBA under my LLC. Um, and then I kicked off a little Indiegogo campaign, um, which I made a little bit of money and made enough to get onto Without a Box, which is kind of the website uh, where pretty much most film festivals list and uh, most filmmakers go to to, you know, look for festivals and what are the, you know, the most popular festivals and what are the new festivals. That's where you find out everything uh, regarding film festivals. And um, it was uh, like, and then part of the process is, yeah, trying to raise money and where's the, what's the venue going to be? Because being in Las Vegas, uh, you have all this prestigious big, uh, you know, the casinos right. and then there's, there's some little mom and pop places in town and it's just trying to find the right venue. And you went big on this I, year's fe- <laughs> I The did Mirage. Go big. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, and the Mirage was great. Uh, just, just to you know, uh, be able to put an event on there uh, for people uh, was just it was just amazing, you know. Um, and uh, it was an amazing event. I was, it was so cool to be a part of that. Yeah, it was so and there, cool. Just like you know, any project, there, there's a lot of things involved, and you know, you got to have volunteers uh, just to make things run, you know, smoothly, uh, you know, technically and uh, physically, and making sure people find the uh, theater rooms that we used. They were actually meeting rooms, and um, it was uh, it was a great experience, and. Uh, I know. I know you. You want to ask me about uh, year two? Uh, yeah. I mean, wh- what are you thinking? Because I think it can go a variety of ways. Because the beauty is, I mean, it's yours. You own it. You can do whatever you. You don't have to do the same thing every year. And like you said, maybe it may not happen in a year. Maybe it happens in two years. But what do you have? Some kind of ideas or directions? Maybe you think it can go. Um, well, I think uh, opportunities are just wide open, really. Right. Uh, it depends on what I connect with and uh, um, sponsorships. Sponsorship is really important. Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> Clout, LinkedIn. You can be the premier sponsor of this event if you're watching this. Yeah, I mean, uh, and to reiterate what the festival is really about, and it, you know what, it didn't, it didn't dawn on me until the actual film started being submitted. Right. Uh, you know, I, I knew I wasn't gonna get a whole plethora of films about social media, so. I eventually opened it up to social change and technology as the three, you know, themes. And all these doc, great, all these great documentaries came in. Amazing films. Uh, some great short films came in as well. And we got films on social media that came in a little late. And uh, we got some great documentaries, uh, you know, um, about all these great subjects about transparency in advertising and uh, just all these great things that are going on in the world. The films came in from China, uh, Sweden, or no, Switzerland, um, South Korea, just like all around the world. Um, and to me, it's, you know, digital has taken over. You know, uh, the whole industry itself can't really afford to deal with processing film anymore. So, you sort of have to just kind of go with the flow. This is, you know, this is what happens all the time. You know, 
uh, an industry has to, you know, readjust uh, for what's coming. And uh, that's kind of part of my vision is what's going right. on now. I get all this great <clears throat> technology with uh, iPhones. People are making movies with iPhones. I mean, you know, it's uh, they're, they're making, um, you know, little uh, pogo stands and all these great little uh you know, size down versions of bigger, you know, right. equipments. You know, all the, all this equipment comes originally from the 35 millimeter equipment. So everything's getting lighter and easier to carry and easier to use. And uh, with the uh, the cards now, we're not even dealing with tape anymore. Uh, you know, you can shoot, you know, hours and hours of, of footage. You can have met as many takes as you want. Uh, and it's, it's, it's beautiful to see where things are going. You know, I think technology, obviously there are some, um, you know, dangerous aspects of technology, you know, because everything is so available. Uh, but there are so many great, uh, amazing things that can also happen. You know, the, uh, social change can happen instantly. You know, something could be happening uh, in Iran or uh, Egypt or somewhere overseas or anywhere here in, in America. And in minutes, everyone knows about it. You exactly. Know? And somebody can be filming it and loading it to YouTube. Uh, maybe it gets the attention of someone else. Maybe a big studio is like, "Oh, we got to make a documentary." Get that kid, you know, get, uh, you know, get his contact number, all that kind of thing. And before you know it, there's a whole revolution. And taking I think place. that's part of the brilliance and genius what you have done. And I don't think I've ever said it this way, but you pretty much took Silicon Valley and Hollywood and mixed the two. You br you're bringing together two giant worlds and bringing it together, and you're exactly right because now people can use iPhones. People can just camera, laptop, short setup, can make a movie, and instead of trying to go to Hollywood and sell it and maybe spend years trying to build this up, they can put it on Facebook. They can put it on YouTube. They can put it on Twitter, and like you said, anyone has a chance of seeing it. So I think with your festival, just the more we progress and social media becomes more and more important in people's lives, I think it's just going to continue to grow. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, there's this, like, the biggest thing right now is apps. Apps, apps, apps for, like, everything. And there's an app for the social media film festival. <laughs> there's an app for the social media <laughs> film festival uh, where I can, you know, with apps is, is great because you can email it to people. You can, people can uh, download it themselves on the website, you know, off the website and, uh, you can share information instantly. Um, it's just another uh, aspect of social media. Another platform. And while we're on the topic of social media, we've got a couple minutes here. Uh, where can people find it? Because you have your personal, Ross H. Martin, on Twitter, I know. But where can people find the Social Media Film Festival information and more about yourself? Well, uh, I would say a good hub is the actual uh, website itself, socialmediafilmfestival.com. Um, Facebook is listed there. Uh, Twitter, uh, my Twitter handle for social media film festival is uh, at social media underscore FF. And then my personal is uh, at Ross H. Martin. Um, Perfect. And we'll and put those on the screen for everyone to see. Very good. Awesome. And we got, with the remainder of our time, I know you and I talked beforehand. We're both Star Wars fans. <laughs> and they're coming out with 7, 8, and 9. You had an opportunity recently to go to the Mecca the man himself, uh, Lucas Ranch. If that's is that is that is that what it's called, Lucas Ranch? Could uh, you tell me about yeah. it? Yeah, um, it it was uh, it was an amazing experience. Uh, uh, my buddy Sean Kinney, uh, who actually, by the way, this ties into the film festival a little bit. This was actually a year before the festival, a year ago, and uh, my buddy Sean Kinney is uh, who happened to be uh, on the this visual effects panel on Social Media Film Festival. He was the uh, moderator for the panel and on that panel in addition was Patrick Rodriguez who uh, does all these great uh, effects um, he's very much involved with uh, um, uh, pre-vis is what they call it pre-visualization -vis uh, where they it's kind of like it's similar to storyboarding uh, but he does actual animation and uh, so we got a chance to go up to um, Trying to think of the name of where it is. It's in. It's up in Marin County, uh, Northern California, uh, where the Lucas Ranch is. Oh, okay. And uh, so we got to go visit. Uh, it's just beautiful up there, first of all. Um, but um, you know, we got to go to the cafeteria there, which is not the most cafeteria. It's not the most amazing thing there, but uh, <laughs> there's all this great historical stuff there. Uh, 
like the private library, we kind of peeked in and took a look around. I and mean, there's all these great like artifacts there. I mean, you talk about, you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark and the actual, you know. It's really there. Re re <laughs> re 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 well, what's the word? Uh, replicas are of those props are all over the place. So it's it's pretty amazing. Wow, that is, I, I needed to make a trip up there too. And the uh, last statement, if you could leave us with, briefly tell us what do you like most about social media? Uh, social media. Well, it does connect you with people you probably wouldn't have been connected with before, you know, things that you're interested in, um, you know, uh, and it's just, it's so like instant and when you want it, you know, right. if you don't want to check into Twitter, you don't have to. <laughs> don't it's have to. Whenever you feel like, you know, seeing what's going on and, uh, you know, you can find out information that you may not find while you're uh, somewhere else on the internet or right. or traveling around. You know, Twitter's or, my new source. <laughs> That's what I use for news. My, my latest new one is uh, Pinterest. Pinterest. Um, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. Uh, I, I was using it for a recent job I was on. And uh, it's, you know, you, you're trying to connect with people without just selling yourself, without just sharing your things because you, you want to add things that relate to what you're doing. Right. You know, but not necessarily not necessarily you as a brand, but well, I guess you as a brand, but like including other things because you know, there there are other ways to connect with people. And uh so I love film, I love entertainment and music, so there's a lot of that on my, lot of you in my Pinterest boards. In Pinterest. Yeah. And Pinterest if you're listening, social media film festival. Check it out. <laughs> Ross, thank you so much. I'm it's a I'm so glad I've met you. You've been awesome and I thank you for everything you've done, sir. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you so Appreciate much, it. Sam. Appreciate it. Thanks. On the next episode of the Las Vegas Social Media Show, we are now with another very special guest, Darlene Dalmasita, a filmmaker here in Las Vegas. What role do you see social media playing, in whether what, maybe what you do with your films or where uh, the film community is going? I think a lot of it is going to go on the Internet. I mean, it's already happening now. I've seen the work that fellow filmmakers in town have done, and... I'm pretty impressed. 